magic. No, magic. no magic. Okay, then we have 15 seconds. So uh, probably we don't believe all so much enough. So let's believe. Yes. So now let's believe that what you see is what you get, but for AWS infrastructure, because that's exactly what I'm curious to see how people will try to use and whether there is any interest in what I'm doing. So a uh, couple of words about myself. Uh, I'm Terraform and AWS fanatic. You will hear what is Terraform if you don't know about this, because that's the only thing which I do for the last many years. And uh, yeah, uh, I organize events like this one and a few other. So first of all, a uh, pretty bold statement, which is uh, uh, cloud architects and DevOps, they really want to have much faster conversion from idea to something ready working. This is probably uh, an assumption, but uh, it's pretty bold assumption. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, now I will try to explain why this is a little bit more than actually an assumption. So cloud architects, they uh, understand cloud environments and they usually use tools like uh, countless different graphing tools and they put their expertise to come up with something nice and visual and can, uh, can help developers to actually get product out of the door. So some people, like I hope majority, are using things like Cloudcraft, where you can draw things and you can actually visualize all of your components right from the browser. This is uh, free or freemium, where right in the browser you put all these elements and you can specify different properties, like which region is it, what type of instance, and so on. So there are uh, pretty many users of this specific tool. But uh, uh, it's pretty powerful. You can put lots of components, you can make connection between components, you can import diagram, you can actually see how much will it cost, and you can share in, in different ways. But uh, there are a few problems with this. Since uh, I believe that infrastructure as code makes DevOps possible at all, because we can actually treat infrastructure as code, and we always know who changed and wh why, not why, but who and when. Uh, there are lots of different tools out there for public cloud providers, uh, but uh, it's not enough because uh, just using them, you cannot manage countless other type of resources like you can do with Terraform. And uh, Terraform, for those who don't know, is a tool which allows to create and uh, update uh, and manage infrastructure as code. So everything is written in plain text and you run several commands to get this infrastructure created. And uh, you are not the first person who has the same need for the same type of resources. So I come up uh, with infrastructure modules, uh, which were downloaded more than one and a half millions of times during the last uh, year. So what we have is that we have a tool on one end where uh, cloud architect are drawing things, and then we have infrastructure as code, which is good, uh, or the only way for DevOps to, to manage infrastructure. So I was thinking like uh, we have AWS console where we see end result and how things will look like. We also have tools to diagram this, to this uh, infrastructure, and we also have infrastructure as code. So right now, all of these uh, three pieces are not so much connected because you can obviously change something here, but not in another tool. You can go in console and apply your changes manually. So it doesn't look so nice. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, I released this project as an open source where uh, I want to generate infrastructure directly from your visual diagrams because that's exactly what Cloud Architect uh, appreciate. So you go to this website, which is in beta, you click that you want to have this uh, infrastructure, which you just discussed as code, and you get a uh, zip archive, which contains uh, opinionated structure, but it suits pretty well for bootstrapping purposes. And uh, approximately 80% of code you don't have to get rid of because it's already there and it's something what I'm recommending to use. So uh, uh, beside of uh, if you want to sponsor or sticker, you can always uh, contact me about any of this. But uh, Terraform best practices is something uh, what I see people are missing. There are lots of ways how people come up with uh, their own solutions, and uh, it's just strange to make the same mistake over and over. I think that picture was 1,000 words, but still, 
standing on the source of open source projects like Terraform uh, is uh, the way to, to the future. You don't have to be the smartest uh, just to solve exactly the same problems as many other people did before. So thank you, and uh, you're welcome to Terraform Workshop, which will be on Saturday. There will be. Thank you, Anton. Mm -hmm.